today I'm going to be showing you a Christmas makeup look. Now this is the finished look. Um, so this is actually kind of similar to my very first video that I uploaded this Christmas, which was my using testing soap X Revolution palette. So the difference is that the look you're going to see today is pretty much just a red eye, so a really bold red Christmassy eye. But it's the one that I uploaded earlier on in the um, month. If you haven't seen it, I'll link below. It is kind of a deep red brown smoky eye so that was kind of more a smoky eye and this is kind of more a bold red eye you can't see my christmas jumper again and it's like been the case of most of my christmas uh, videos that you haven't been able to see the jumper but i have got the perfect jumper on to wear for this video it says christmas day it has got red and blue and silver sparkles and the glitter has literally got everywhere but look i'm wearing a christmas day jumper for a christmas day look if you want to know what outfit i'll be wearing on christmas day i also did an outfit video earlier in the month and for hair i think i'm going to go with a curled look which is what i've been doing for the past few christmases because i never curl my hair um i just usually straighten it or leave it to dry naturally but i never proper curl it and um, only in special occasions so if you want to see how i got this makeup look then carry on watching so hopefully guys it will stay in focus this time and it won't go out of focus um, but I'm so far away I can't really keep on focusing it. Um, so first of all I'm going to prime my arms and I've just got a mini sample of the Benefit Stay Don't Stray. Just put that all over my eyelids. I'm just going to set that using my white setting powder from e.l.f. Here we are now prepped and primed and ready to do the eye look. I'm just going to zoom in even more so you can literally just see the eyes. So on camera I'm just going to be showing you on my right eye. I'm going to be switching between the two palettes. The two palettes I'll be using is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics and the Soap X Revolution palette. So I'm with the Urban Decay palette and I'm going to take the shade Commando and just run it through my crease. I'm then just going to take this shade Tempted which is just next to it in the palette. A slightly darker greyish brown. And again, just run it through the crease. Now that I've got my base colours, I'm going to now switch to the Soap X Revolution palette. As well as my Real Techniques, I'm also going to be using this number 7 brush. I got it in my advent calendar, I really like it. So I'm first of all going to be taking this shade here, the grey, and again, run that through my crease and outer corner. This is just more of a greyy tone. Just again deepen the crease gradually. Okay, so now we're going to be starting with like the main event. We're going to be going in with the red shade there and I know that is called Danger. So I'm going to build it up slowly so we can get a nice look apart from a really like piled on look. So I'm going to start by using this brush to put it on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Deluxe Crease brush from Real Techniques and then just blend it up and out. Just going back in again with the red and I'm just going to be doing this same technique until I get the colour of red that I want. To just blend the eye look all together, as you can see it's a bit messy, I'm going to be taking this brown just here and taking it on the number 7 brush and just put it on the very outer corner. Then blend that in. And again just going to finish with the black shade here. And again, put that but really lightly. Okay, so now I'm just going to be taking this shade here in the top corner. It's like a very light orangey brown. I'm just going to take that in the very like outer corner of the lid just to kind of blend that all together uh, to kind of fade it in a bit. I'm then going to be taking this same shade on like the outskirts of this eye look and just blend it in so it blends out a bit more nicely and it's not as harsh. And finally, I'm going to take the white shade just here and use my finger and kind of put that on the inner corner going on to the inner lid. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to the Urban Decay palette. I'm just going to take the shade Blow, which is the really highlight shade. I actually really want them to release this in like a single eyeshadow because it is my go-to shimmer shadow for like the inner corner. Just going to place that over the white where I've just placed it. So that is the eyeshadow done and I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And now I'm going to apply this number 7 Exceptional Definition Mascara which I also get in my advent calendar and I've been using it every day since 
I got it because I really like it. It's definitely going to be my new go-to mascara. So there is the finished eye look with the mascara. Oh my god, that looks so crazy. So I'm now just going to go ahead and do the other eye and also do my face makeup. The face makeup is pretty much the same in what I've done in all my makeup looks. So I'm just going to link below all the products I use and I will get back to you once I've done that. So I've done the other eye and my face makeup now. I'm just going to zoom you back in and I'm going to do the under of the eyeshadow and my eyebrows. So under my eyes, I'm just going to take the red shade Danger on this little block little brush and I'm going to do it quite lightly just under the outer bit of my eye so the next shade I'm going to take that grey shade just this one here that I used earlier and we're going to more or less put that on most of the bottom eye just kind of blending it all in I'm taking the white shade and again I'm placing this kind of on the really inner corner here and just blending it all out and I'm kind of going to blend it over the other eyeshadows just so it's not as intense. I'm now going to take my Maybelline Big Eye Mascara. And the reason why I like this one is because it has a lower lash wand. And it's the only one I use. It is, look, it's just perfect for your bottom eyelashes. <gasps> no, guys. Look what I've done. Oh, no. I never get actually get mascara on me when I do eyes. I don't know why that happened. It's because I'm trying to hold a mirror at the same time and usually I do it in my big mirror. Oh no, it's not even coming off with a wipe. I'm going to quickly try and get some concealer and see if I can cover that up. Well, now we'll really test how good the collection last and perfection is, won't we? Last and perfection? Last and perfection. Please cover up, please cover up, please cover up. So I've now just got to go back under the eye with them shades because it has ruined it. I'm not even kidding, it actually looks like I've had a black eye now. But we are just going to ignore that. Okay, so we're now going to go back with the Urban Decay palette and we are going to take the shade below here, just highlighting my brow bone. Also going to take that shade just on the inner corner of my eye. I don't think I've actually shown you what I do with my brows before, so I thought I would do that today. So first of all, I'm going to go with another number 7 product that I got in my advent calendar, and it is a lash and brow perfecter. It's just this clear gel that sets your brows into place. Now, I don't actually know if it does. This is the third time I've used it, so I don't know how good this works, but um, I suppose I'm testing it out. But I then take the Rimmel brow this way I think it's called pencil and is it in it is in the shade oh my god it's the writing's all rubbed off I'm pretty sure it's the darkest brown um and yeah I because I've got quite sparse eyebrows like towards the tail I have to like draw quite a long line downwards um so that it actually looks like a brow shape and then I now just fill the rest in. I actually like my eyebrows quite, like the tail quite thin at the end. Um, yeah, but this pencil matches my hair colour so perfectly. And then when I kind of get near the inner corner, inner corner, no, the inner bit of my brow, I just have a more of a lighter hand. Again, this pencil just looks so natural that I love it so much. That is the difference between the brows. And I'm just going to do the other side. Now I'm going to set them into place with the Maybelline Brow Drama and I have the dark brown shade. I actually only got this yesterday um, because I used to have the medium brown shade but it just didn't suit my eyebrows. But again, this shade is absolutely perfect. Um, this actually doesn't have, doesn't like get a lot of product out. It kind of just really thinly sets it. Okay, so brows done. I'm going to finish this look off with a nude lip because I kind of want the eyes to be the main point. Um, so here I've got the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. And I'm pairing that with the Barry M Lip Liner in the shade... I want to say it's shade Tiramisu. It doesn't actually say on the packaging, but I'm pretty sure it's the brownie shade anyway. Now just applying the NYX lip cream done finally actually we're going to set that with the MUA Pro Base Fix and Mist because if it's on Christmas Day a lot of people obviously have very long Christmas days you are up from early and you go to bed late so you really want to make sure you have a setting spray to make sure your makeup lasts all day done 
possibly excuse my hair in this video the fact that it's up yeah i need to wash it and it was either the fact that wash my hair first and then film the video but then the video goes up really late or film it first so that's the option i decided to go for so thank you for watching this video i hope you really like this makeup look and again if you don't have these specific palettes you can recreate the look with using similar colors that, that you have i feel like this style is probably best to pair it with a nude lip over a red lip because i feel like you either go for like the eyes or go for the lips so in this case i've gone for like red christmasy eyes and obviously then i've gone for quite a subtle lip this is my last like sit down main channel video of before christmas and i'm so happy with all the uploads that i've got if you've not seen them all i they are always linked below and I'm also going to link all the products below that I used. I really hope you enjoyed all my Christmas videos. You've still got all my vlogmas to come which will be uploaded at 7 o'clock tomorrow. I kind of everything that's happened this week. And yeah, I hope you have a really good Christmas. Make sure you like, subscribe and the comment of the day can actually be are you going to kind of be going for a similar makeup look to this or are you just going to go all natural or smoky eye or bold lip or what are you going to go for? A lot of hand actions and gestures. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for my last Christmas video which is my vlog at 7pm.